what I want to. There's no denying that Soka Monarch has seen its fair share of ups and downs. But Ryan Alexander believes that the show can be revived, refreshed and rejuvenated. He said we continue to hold on to and attempt to relive moments in the show's history. However, he thinks it important to note that the show cannot be sustained on memories alone. We remember the days of Bungie Garland being the champion. We remember Fian Lions being on stage. We remember Marshall competing. We remember, you know, Kess. We remember Iowa. I think that the future for Soka Monarch is, lays in the new generation and the integration of the islands. He said Soka today is a melting pot of sounds which originate in different parts of the Caribbean. Marshall Montano, Bungie and Skinny song is, is actually inspired by Buyo, which is from Dominica. You know, a lot of Trinis may classify it just as soca, but the reality of it is, is that it is a fusion of music from another island. And once we start integrating that into the music and um, people get educated in terms of what these things are and what the, the other islands have to offer, I think that holistically Soka Mana could have, you know, have new life. Having gone through the ranks as an artist, he believes recently appointed ISM chair, Fian Lyons Alvarez, has an uncanny understanding of what is required. He said one of her biggest challenges would be fundraising. What would be enticing for, as a prize um, for the artist to come and, and put effort and energy into competing in the show? Um, so there are a lot of different things in terms of marketing, in terms of financing that, you know, if, you know, Fian is, is competent, so Fian should, should be able to do it. It wouldn't be easy, but, you know, if she has a clear vision, I think she should be fine. Ryan believes that general mismanagement is just one of the factors which would have contributed to the steady deterioration of the show. A general lack of trust that started to occur, not just on the outside of the show, but um, the artists themselves, they lost faith in the show itself. Um, some artists' brands also grew very big and they no longer felt the need to compete. But a lot of them and have now shifted their focus. And so that's why I said the new energy, you know, could be in use. Like countless others, he's excited about the return of Power Soka to the ISM stage. He said Power Soka is integral to Carnival. Power Soka is integral, you know, we can't chip whole day. We need the energy, we need the vibe. And I went to, to Uber in November and saw what Power Soka was still doing outside of Trinidad. You see that, you know, that is still the pulse and the energy and you still need that in the Carnival, you know. Um, it's okay to go after the international hit, but you also have to remember that what makes us is the Bacchanal too. You need it. Commenting on the evolution of Fed culture in Trinidad and Tobago, Ryan said this is due in part to the crime situation, which left many people wary of mass events. In keeping with the laws of demand and supply, he said promoters were then forced to do a different type of event, which cater to a different market. Because there's so many of those events, there's a big void in terms of, uh, and the only one that really exists, if you look at it, is Army. And Army is marketed for a reason, as the safest Fed for Carnival. Um, I do believe that, that the industry, as with any major industry, they need balance. So they need, they need mass events that are not expensive. They need cooler fets. They need all-inclusive events. They need band shows. They need DJ shows. They need cultural shows. This, he says, will give a true representation of what Trinidad and Tobago Carnival really is. Dion Batiste, TTT News.